Hello, and welcome to the far reaches of space where no animal has gone in the last seven years. What the? Oh, See, now, we have, now we have instant access to the walker whenever we want. Hmm. See, that is something that you have to be that you have to kind of be tricky with. Arcade mode gives you everything off the bat, but story mode you have to kind of unlock things as you progress. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And yes, I. I oh. Now, granted, arcade mode is something you have to unlock by beating the main game first, so that's kind of right. And as and as stated previously, I will be going back. I will eventually be going back and uh, going through all the alternate paths I can find, and and or at least at least alternate missions. So apparently the Lilat army were capable of stealing act an actual um, Venomian giant gorilla mech and are keeping in this totally not not a ripoff of every other sp uh, space station slash planet on the entire uh, Oh, industry. crap, but the Andros forces found it. Well. well is that Mike Pollock? I doubt it. I doubt it. All right, fine. Showtime. Actually, you know what? Real talk. If you did have to cast Mike Pollock as someone in Star Fox, who would you pick? Kegma. Yeah. Really? I was th really I was ah, I missed that laser great. Uh really I was thinking more of um Hmm Slippy? No not oh. Slippy, uh, Peppy. Mm. No, not Peppy. Maybe I um, I, I, I honestly think it would, it would just make sense to fit him as Pigma. He's got the voice for it. I still think I still think um, freaking um, Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, that would have been perfect, especially in this game. <laughs> this game in particular is where he sounds like Gilbert Gottfried. Okay, we have to destroy thirty ships. Let's do this. That's fair. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, I don't think we've ever brought this up before, but you'll notice every once in a while the uh, character's icon like like that. It, just, it means you gotta go help him out. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's, also, it's definitely some, it's definitely a better alternative to the flash the flashing names thing you saw from like sixty four. Um, it's salt. So oh, that. I thought I could fly through those wings. All right, you turn. You said wings. No, I, I thought mm. I could fly through those rings. Okay, there you go. It I thought you said like no, they're just, energy rings. It did sound like that. My bad. I Get could, out of I, behind me. I thought I could fly through those chicken wings. I <laughs> thought I got all snicker snootered. What? I don't know. I, 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 it's called zero G's. My brain is feeling all numb. Them robot legs. Uh, well, in the means for, for for now anyway. All we gotta do is take out thirty drones. Yeah, not too bad. I'll just. Assuming I that, that's definitely not the most optimal way of taking them out. So, would you say? <laughs> oh, shut up, Pepe. <laughs> I thought you were I telling was... me to shut up for a sec after I just yawned. It's space battles. <laughs> Why would he How do that? How can you be yawning in space battles? I woke up too early. I know. Alright, five left. What the? Uh oh. Well. What? When did? When did? When did? Pig in space. When did Kigma show up? Just he's now. Here, he's here to work for Andros. Mm -hmm. I love how small his mouth is. I'm just gonna say that right now. All right, Pigma, let's do this. Okay. It, just, it just seems the most appropriate if you were just to go. Well, I, I, is, like that, is that how he sounded in the? Is that how he sounded in the SNES? Uh, I don't think so. I forgot what he sounded okay. like in Star Fox too. Huh? <laughs> what a pig! <laughs> this is probably not smart, but this has been this is my main this is my main strategy is to just go direct to go directly against them and like play chicken on the railroad tracks and blast at them as they approach me. There we go. Ah, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Hearing him in Zero, he does sound a lot like Elder Three, just without the uh, obvious tech. Goodbye. All right, let's go get let's go get that weapon. Away. Phase one. That was only phase one of the mission. Nope. We still got a little bit more to do in here. Mm-hmm. Look yeah, at these cute little chicken walkers. Yay for chicken walkers. Aww. I actually um go ahead. I want to ask real quick. Are there any like particular gameplay or tutorial things you want to get out of the way before I start my topic? Because I I am going to give you an advance warning. It is slightly long winded. Uh, so we need to try and get that gorilla online before these walker things can carry it to a teleporter. Unfortunately, these things are pretty strong, and there's actually apparently a bonus mission you can get if you if you manage to hack these things, you can get a mission accomplished. But for now, it's probably better to just kind of hoof it. Um, 
So yeah, we're going to be getting a new weapon that'll allow us to hack these things in a rather cute little mission, but uh, that's it. Go ahead. I... <clears throat> um, because I actually want to take this opportunity to continue a topic that Matt tried to do in Assault. Um, this is for you, Matt. If you guys had to pick actors to play the Star Fox team in a hypothetical Star Fox series, and you can't cheap out and say the current actors like Mike West and whatnot, who would you have for each Star Fox member? Probably a little cheap, but I could see, I could see, um, okay, probably a little cheap. I could see Tom Cruise being a pretty decent fox. I can kind of see that. Oh, by the way, if it helps with your selection, um, unlike when Matt asked, you don't have to limit yourself to just celebrities. You can pick, like, pro VOs and whatnot. I don't know. Oh, God, I need to freaking stand on the Oop. thing. Hard for me to say, really. I mean... I guess for the sake of typecasting, I'd probably pick Johnny Young's <clears throat> Bosch's Fox. That'd be interesting. Um, for me, if not Johnny Young Bosch, I would say, just because he's definitely been showing off his versatility lately, um, Eric Baza as Fox. Maybe. Sorry, Walker, our wing. We're gonna have to ditch ya. And here we have the Gyro wing. It is an AI equipped, on that QB later, a really weird helicopter thing yeah and one of the few one of the few th few uh, points of um uh, few points of um uh contention. Con contention that people have with star fox zero this thing contention yeah that's what contention is, I to say. it's one of the points of contention that people have with star fox zero and that this thing is pretty damn slow it's more yeah, it wasn't one of my favorites and here's our little oh, solo thing that is our, at first, I, okay, so I was messing up here, and I didn't know what the game wanted me to do. I thought I was supposed to pick up the R-Wing and take it up with me, so don't mind me uh, trying to nope. lift this sucker. So, okay, to actually, to get you to, know what? to pretend like I'm not an idiot, this is the, uh, I believe this is called the, the I, the I hat, and some, I forget what it's called. Uh, I forget. It's some mm -hmm. eye buddy or eye thing. Ew, okay, and that was when I that was when I learned. Oh, if I hit the minus button, I swap screens. So now you'll start seeing me use that more often to kind of give a little perspective of that. Anyway, so oh, okay, well, you, I, got I, a, okay. you got a you got a gold ring out of it. So there's that. I maybe I shot it. Or, anyway, so this is oh I, oh the guns nailed down there. That's yep, neat. that's pretty much where the where your guns are. So mm -hmm. it is essentially uh okay directly to me. Direct die, that's it. Direct it is die, a that's ha it. it is a hacking little guy who actually looks like Rob. More, more like Rob, Rob than the actual okay. Rob. Yes. And you can yeah, move around and you can move around on this he has his own little treads. And here this is me t I'm touching the gamepad like I'm touching it. Oh, I need to touch it physically. There's hat there's direct die, he's cute. Listen. He's cute. Alright, pull it back up. Don't get used to yeah, don't get actually, used no. him though. You only see him for like two missions. Yeah, and then we just get his then we just get yeah. his abilities ourselves. Which honestly is the far better uh, far better alternative. For the walk, yeah. yeah. All right. And actually, just going back to when you're trying to pick up the ship, I imagine like instant or the little guy he's trying to hold it up. It's like curse my stubby little arms. <laughs> so yeah, we need to so yeah, Problem is the walkers have now officially rigged up the Gigarilla. We don't want him to take it back with him. Otherwise, oh, we're toast. So let's activate the son. Of, let's let's activate the son of a bitch. Do okay. Click. All right. Ah, uh, he's he loves his job. <laughs> nice. Power and communications have been restored to the Weightness. There Crap! They're almost to that teleporter. Now we hack the son of a bitch. Hurry! Hurry to the Gigarilla. Slowly. Hang on. Let me try this out. Actually. Uh, Again, if you wait, try one out. Oh, he's gonna I, hack the other drones first. Spo spoilers: I don't succeed in this, but if because you have to bear in mind that these things are moving at the same time as you. But if you hack all four of them, you get a mission accomplished. But yeah, that's how you do it. Huh? Okay then. But yeah, that's only if you want the gold banner if you win. But yeah, let's go activate the button. Yeah, let's go with the more guaranteed rails. Oh gosh, dang it! Oops. <laughs> It's, it's all moving, so you have to like overshoot it a little bit. Ow, at least, that, at least that tether never. At least that tether never never snaps Got off. It. Yeah. Got yeah. it. The only thing you have to worry about is that tether, if that tether extends too far, and then you, then poor direct eye gets pulled back. There rather we go. Me. It's ours now. The Gigarilla. And he works for us now. Eek. 
And the cool thing, is, and the cool thing is, if you lock on any, lock on to any um, enemies, the Giga Gorilla will follow it. Or no, no, the Giga Gorilla will follow you. Yep. So I can just go right behind this guy. And it's like, what are you doing? It's like playtime. <laughs> no, please have mercy. Get him. I have three kids. Fresh meat. Get him. What are you doing? Robot. Just get stop him. The, stop the fucker. Or you know He's what? Maybe shooting you just... in the crotch. Get him. Maybe... Oh. <laughs> I can't feel a thing. Fair enough. Actually, now that I think about it, it kind of tickles. Fair. Actually, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. That reminds me of a gag from the first Hotel Transylvania, where the kid is like he's approached by the one suit of armor trying to stop him, kicks him in the nuts, and then the suit of armor goes, "Why did that hurt?" <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, again, okay, we gotta go. Okay, that's actually we're gonna finish the mission. We're gonna go actually, on a solo mission. Actually, no, it wasn't the kid, it was the chef. We're gonna run into the thing. Alright. Alright, here we go. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll admit, I think I think Hotel Transylvania is one of the better things Adam Sandler's done in a while. I like it. I haven't gotten to see the sequel yet, which people say is just as good. I have not seen the third one yet either. Although the third one looks just as vibrant. No, I'm talking about the second one. Yeah, the second one. one. I know, but I'm saying the third one looks like it'll be just as exciting or at least vibrant. It looks nice. There we go. And there's there's one mission down. And also, I guess if... Also, I guess if we're going to be fair, it's not really so much... Well, his name is attached to it, but a lot of that goodness does kind of stem from Gendy. That is true. Of course. Alrighty, on to the next mission. Everyone's... Favorite mission. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Middle Gear. Ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a Foxhound special. Basically, we're gonna go through Fox a stealth mission. Special. We're gonna no, go. Fo Foxhound. Foxhound. <laughs> Have you never heard of that organization? I know. It's Fox Die. But no, no, that, no, no Fox Die. No, Fox Die kills people. Foxhound. It... Fair enough. Sorry. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this. welcome back to Zonus. Zonus. But it got screwed up. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's always been screwed wow. up. Well, it's even more screwed up because now we have to go through a stealth mission in the slowest vehicle. Rob, give me my location. Please. I have confirmed. no idea of where you're you at. GPS Zonus. off kilter. That's Low Wi-Fi. Surprisingly, the smell of vision still wor still works. If you want the stinks. fastest route, go through that lake. <laughs> if you want to go through the hard ass way, oh oh wait, no, there is actually a purpose. We can't just go over. We need to dis disable the shields from within. Yep. And so I bet go. there's an I bet there's an additional metal if you can do this without being spotted. I do get spotted once or twice, but not by watch towers. Yeah. First of all, these the things are a problem. The most of oh, that. You know what? I if this. I was about to say, if this is the mission I think it is, I think this is actually where I stopped playing the game. Like, I was able to be it, but I didn't get past this. Really? Really? Hmm. Mm, not very far I in, think. I see. So, unless I feel like busting out the game again, everything past this point... I was about to say, unless I feel like busting out the game after this, um, everything Go. past this level is going to be blind for me. Oh, oh, I know maybe kind of a bit late. Can we do one more part after this? Uh, why? Because it has my favorite stage in the uh, world after this one. Well, so long as I download the part, I think we're fine. He downloaded everything. Well then, okay. He'll do that. Because Sector Beta is my well, favorite stage in this game. Well, everything... Ex I was about to say, I got... Uh, but yeah, I was able to get everything except Fox, except for Guard. Spoiler yeah. alert. And... <laughs> Come me on, on he leash. almost got it. There he goes. We can shut off the spotlight. He's cute. All right, Hoorah. get back in. Get back in here. So, um, yeah. Apologies. So, um, farther. Thank you. So, uh, oh, okay, on. give me give me a little bit of slack. There. Come there on. you go. It's an interesting. I mean, it's definitely varied. And say what you want. This is still a, this is still more of a Star Fox game than Adventures was. Yeah. Even though, even though this game, a lot of people tend to tend to complain that it pretty much took a little too much from Star Fox 64. I mean, friggin' a lot could a lot could argue that there's a lot of stuff that other games have taken from other things. Like, yeah. Again, I mean, I mean, again, I'm at least I mean, glad the that of, they. Well, I was about to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I was about to say, um, you make that accusation, would you say it's better or worse than, say, um, Twilight Princess taking a little too much from Ocarina of Time? I... To be honest, as much as I like Star Fox Zero more, I Cat. would agree that Star Fox... Cat! Cat! How the hell's back? What are you doing here? What? Ah, uh, she's stuck in there. How did she get stuck in there is what I want to know. I don't know. Oh, crap. But, um, anyway... <laughs> As I was trying to say earlier, I mean, I like Zero more, but I do think that um, this took is a little more guilty about taking from its source material than Twilight Princess did was Ocarina of Time. I would honestly say that, unfortunately, I don't think I don't think Twilight Princess took enough away from Ocarina of Time because it's not it's not even as free roaming as Ocarina of Time is now. Uh, for what that's worth, I'm going to be completely frank. Okay. Oh, can't fit in there. Okay. Oh, the, now this, I can, oh, oh, now I can do this because I noticed she was doing like a little. Ooh. Yay. Oh, oh yeah. I, well, what I the... was going to say, oh yeah, I forgot I could I could use this to show off for the perspective when I go inside tunnels. So I'll start doing that from now on so you can see what he sees. Thank you. Anyway. Alright, going down. Anyway, as you were, say anyway, as you were saying, uh, Jay, uh, sorry, were you saying height? Like that? Well, first off, I noticed that Seely did almost kind of like a pained wince during all that. Um, are you okay, sis? I think so. What happened? what happened? I was yawning, and one of my rubber bands snapped inside my mouth. Hit my cheek. The inside of my cheek. It hit the gum. Oh, I've had that Ow. happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Seely. That happened to me once. Ooh. It's basically like rubber. It's should basically we, like. Should we tend four from this? I think she'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be it's fine. Just, it's just, it's going to take a little bit to. It's that. Recover. It's like it's like it's like rubber. It's like you know doing that whole rubber snap thing, but on the inside of your gum. Yeah, that sounds. It's not the end of the world, but I gosh, got an does it elastic, stink? Eddie. Yeah. It's like st it's like stubbing your toe. It All right, my here we go. And the Careful. inside of my cheek. Lower. This is probably Lower. the worst place to start doing this. Yeah, I didn't realize that a, I didn't realize that there's actually a second one that actually can turn off a laser and make this first part easier. But gosh dang, do I like making things hard for me? Tell me. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh. At least, at yeah. least, you know, it's a good thing you don't get hurt during cutscenes like that. It's a good thing yeah. the lasers aren't strong enough to t cut off the tether. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. You're supposed to start here and then make it easier for the second one, whatever. Well, it is what it Down. is. Then again, don't you have to get, you have to scan both of them anyway just to re get inside the? Um... Oh yeah, you do. But scanning this one first makes scanning the other one easier because there's less beams to worry about. Oh. Uh, and done. That's fair. But we're good. Shield deactivated. Good going, little man. I also like that they remastered even her theme and stuff. Oh yeah, the soundtrack in general is just, just great. Mm -hmm. Is it fully orchestrated or synthesized? Uh, it's a mix of both. Nice. Like Galaxy. Okay. Oh, yeah, like fair. Galaxy. Oh, uh, again, why I want to get to the next? Oh yeah, we're doing the next one. I don't care. This okay. is me thinking. Oh, I should be blowing that up right now. Okay, no, we can just leave. <laughs> just go. You're done with this area. Now Again, please. Ow! No. I wish there was a camera view to look directly above me. Just oh, there's one. Anyway, uh, <laughs> my mouth. Yeah, uh, let it be. Yeah, yeah, so again, please let me know. This is my, this is literally a blind run that I'm doing right now. This is, these are my first initial reactions to everything happening right now. <laughs> Best of luck with some of the later levels. It's tricky, and I do cut out a few deaths, but I will say, I can say, I did not game over. Good. I got close, but... Yeah. That's good. I don't think Actually, we ever game over it ever on my run. I don't know if we ever brought... I don't know if we ever brought it up, but if you had to compare in terms of difficulty, um, would you say this is one of the more difficult Star Fox games? Mm, not I think, quite. I, I think Command is the hardest one. Well, Command is easily one of the, one of the more tedious ones. The whole, well, the timer thing especially is the problem. Okay, so we need to we need to get, disable this camera, but there are no hacking ports, which means we got to do up. a little bit more manual stuff. We got to blow it up. You see? If yeah. only this thing had smart bombs. I know. Another I reason why nobody likes over. the gyro wing. It's practically it's it's really not it's really meant for nothing more than sneak for stealth. Now, fortunately, there's only oh crap! I got spotted. Ah, nuts! Sorry, so direct gold, die. So much for your gold Ooh. medal. How? The, the robot behind us. Uh, Pick it up. Logan, I think you're doing it the wrong way. Oh, uh, okay. Left to go. <laughs> you have to do it from the top. You have to put him on top. 
Get it. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Now drop it on the bastard. No, I don't want to waste my shot. Hurry up. Gotta take out that camera. Hurry up, my arms are gonna fall off. How are you doing? Do I have to answer? Answer. <laughs> I like that line. Get ready, honey. Yeah. And wait for it. Boom. Boom. Good and thing then you direct just... gyro wing. <laughs> I was expecting direct eye to go. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> like R2T2. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Actually, nice. Yeah. Thread the needle. Oh, I do. Um, since we're talking about, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Since we're I'm, talking I, about well, no, 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 dude, dude. I'm I sorry. I'm, some, hype, hype. Yeah. I need to say this real quick. It's a good thing those crates are not reactive. No. Okay. Back to you. Hype. I can just imagine like what a, when Direct Eye's about to scan yeah, the thing. Scan uh, the thing. The whole thing both blow up and blow <laughs> him up with it. And he's immune. All right. Back to you. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But. Oh. Yeah, but, but yeah, going back to whoa, rockets. Just going back to a uh, contact eye there. I don't know why, but I had this really amusing idea that like the relationship between him and Rob would be kind of like Garfield in normal words. Like contact eye is trying to like get rid of Rob and be like the ultimate cute replacement whoa. bot. All right, get in there. All right, what are we doing here? And what are these things? These coins. Uh, they're, they're just silver medals. You get all of them, I think you get one full gold medal. Hmm. How are you doing, Seely? I'm alright. I'm sorry It's still that. sore. I bet. <laughs> Up we go! <laughs> oh, God. I'm okay. Just gotta blow up this here can't. This pure spot I'm alive! That's Hi. very awkward. It is. Yeah, like, kind of, like, momentum it. I'm alive. Are you? Are you sure you can't can't give? Actually, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't this this thing's charge? Isn't this thing's charge shot basically like a missile launcher? I maybe I don't know. Go forward. What are you talking to me for? I'm not the pro at this game. All right, what we got? Nice. I do appreciate that when you're you when you're viewing from the other from the other point from the um. First person point of view, you do get like like live coverage of what's going on on the other screen. Oh crap, the spotlight case. spotted us. Ah, nuts. Gotta get out of here. Oh, these we're, not the well, birds. We're mercenaries, not we're mercenaries, not freaking stealth artists. Covert ops, yeah. Okay, let's just get down there. Yeah, I, we're, we're mercenaries, not ninjas. <laughs> I keep I keep forgetting that the Star Fox crew are mercenaries. I don't think of them as that. I always think of them as like vigilantes or something. They're, but they're they full, get paid. They're, well, yeah, no, they're full. They're full blown mercenaries. Honestly, the one. To be fair, though, they they make more sense as mercenaries at, than Samus does as a bounty hunter. Yeah, Samus was okay. That, that that is true. Samus almost never collects any bounties. She just. Well, I I like to think of her like. I wouldn't say about Han. I wouldn't say like Han Solo or Indiana Jones, but it's like she like I I know she wants to do some things for profit. Just she always ends up in positions where she's like. I really do need to do this for the greater good. I have no choice, so I need to do this. She's pretty. She's pretty much a. She's. I know some people like to say that she's. She should have just be, may well be an employee for the Galactic Federation. No, I honestly think she's. She's pretty much exactly like Star Fox. She herself is a mercenary. She takes. She's pretty much the hitman for um the for um uh, the Galactic Federation. Much like the Star Fox team are pretty much the hitmen of the, of the Cordyrian army. Which is fair, but she'll never <laughs> join them, even though she did join them almost for a time and other end. More on that later. Uh, now yeah. she just kind of works on her own. Well, especially well, considering the fact that in Super Met that in Super Metroid they outright just decided to continue researching the one thing she told them that they should have destroyed long ago. Yeah, because they don't know any better. Ow! Oops. Let's try that again. Yes. What hit me? Nothing. Whatever. You just pulled pull on the port too hard. <laughs> Oh, whatever. Trust Hooray. me, that thing, that thing is incredibly freaking reactive. And speaking of which, speaking of oh, Super, boy. speaking of Metroid, all we did was take out the shields, and just all of a sudden the place wants to blow itself up. Must be a failsafe. Oh. Looks like it's time to exit, little man. Hey, don't call me that. Let's go. Hurry. Ladies first. Oh, shut up. All right. Like I said, she's the textbook definition of the of the um, of the troop of woman. Oh jeez! Oh lord! What this is kind of nuts. 
Where's the exit? Is it down here? Yeah. Nope, it's nope. up there. It's up there. <laughs> Pull the thrusters. Away. It's up there, it goes. Uh, I have to take whoa! Long. Yeah. <laughs> Did we take too long or? Yay. Oh. Mission complete. Woo! Sorry, oh. I bumped my mic by accident with my leg. Oops. Okay. Trying to make Mission a hasty complete. getaway there, are we, Seely? <laughs> I'm actually. Uh, I'm getting up to start to turn my light on because it's getting kind of dark in here. Uh, I also like that even outside the character portraits, if you look at inside the under the cockpit. Uh, windshields, even their heads animate like puppets. Yep. Rap, 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 rap. It all makes sense. The fact, the fact that they advertise this, I, I wonder if they actually got the Jim Henson Company to make them those Star Fox puppets. They did. Nice. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I think they did. That's, that's awesome. And that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed our time with the gyro wing. We're never using this thing again. Hooray! <laughs> See you all in the next part for one of my what I believe. In an possible unpopular opinion here, what I believe to be one of the best Star Fox stages, period. <laughs> see you. I can't, can't disagree with that. Uh, see you guys later. Oh, bye.